Howard, what up? Anthony Williams, what up? <clears throat> roll the corn, roll the corn, roll the corn. What up, big baller? What's up, bro? Roll the corn, roll the corn. High Supreme, what up? Rita, what up? Elijah, what up? Roll the corn. Anthony Williams, Michael. Akira, what's up, bro? Flex Skywalkers. Mika, what up? Kansas, Flex. Frank, what up? Michael Tahuti, what up? Roll the corn. Javon Green. I'm going to let some people get up and... um. And um, ask some questions, man. If y'all want to get up on the screen, drop a receipt. We'll talk about the receipt y'all put up. And um, I'm just doing some Q&A. Just doing a little Q&A today, man. Roll the corn. Marlo, how you doing? Kira, what's up, bro? Roll the corn. Roll the corn. Let me see what we got. Big box. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's going on, man? What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. I hear you now. Uh, are you fam uh, are you familiar are you familiar with the uh the guy that goes by the voodoo chief? Yeah, I'm a little familiar. He, he he does yeah. he, he does a lot of stuff on, on Haiti, the Republic of Haiti, that's kind of his expertise. He talks about uh how 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 that that that's who was in control of, of these lands before then people took over like before they got they they, they land he talks about here. what now because because the whole he talks about uh he ended up about the indentured servant right the white team that your servant and, yeah. and uh the, the, like the truth about harriet tubman and uh he talked uh i think the thing that got me the most was he told he told me uh that john brown the truth about john brown and you know he gets a lot of uh, uh love by people who don't understand they say oh he, he was he was there fight, fighting with black folks you know whatever they, they people say but in reality that man was just uh, a puppet for them folks right yeah he uh he uh he was he was he was he was uh uh linked up with uh he was one of the indentured servants, right? He was one of the free servants. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's 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 a lot of but, it's a lot of it was a lot of mold on melanated people who were who were actually against us, bro. Um they're starting that's to what I'm finding out. They're starting to prove like uh a lot of these people were kind of made up in history to to, to do certain things at certain times in history. Um, they haven't really just proven all of it, but they're saying people like Harriet Tubman. Um, well, there's a weird link between Harriet Tubman and Queen Victoria. I'm trying to figure this out. There's a weird link between them two. <coughs> yeah. I'm starting to think they might be based off the same person, man. I'm starting to think, yeah. I'm starting to think they might be based off, because you start searching stuff and then certain pictures pop up. I don't know, man. It get me thinking that. A lot of these characters are are are, are going are aliases. Yeah, you know man. It's, it's, it's a lot of aliases. It's a lot of misinformation with this stuff. Um, I researched a lot of those people, man. I found a lot of flaws in in, in what they were saying about them, but um, it's kind of hard to. It's real hard to to really, really, really prove they were kind of like agents back in the day. <laughs> but yeah no i know i know you're saying. it's something to look into though it's something to look into like from what i've seen when when you look at uh the 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 dress of them people right so i can i can i can pull up some of these uh you mind if i pull these up on here yeah go ahead let me check them out you see all right all right let me check them so, out this is is what your uh haiti you know look like this is what your uh pacific how they were dressing right this is this is one of them 
Uh, yeah. look, look at the kids. Look, look at these kids. Look at how, how elegant they dress. Look, look at that dress. Like, look, 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 look at where he's wearing the vest with the, with the boots and the hat. Like, the hat especially. Look at Put it into that hat. Cause that's that's, yeah. the, that's the hat they always show on uh, 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 Buffalo Bill. You know what I'm talking about? They always show that hat on Buffalo Bill. That's what I always yeah. imagine. So what, what, you, what you say is they look like foreigners? But look at your, these are what your so-called white tee was looking like at the same time. Yeah, it's not it's not the same. You feel what I'm saying? These people look like they was the ones out in the fields, right? Yeah, not them. They look like they never done a lick of hard labor in their life. Just just keeping it a buck. You know so I'm so I'm saying, what you saying is, do they look like foreigners or they look like they from from here? They look like foreigners. It ain't nothing about foreigners to me. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's more it's more more about in my opinion, talk about the correct nobody. I'm just here to share. It's more they about what now? to me like they were they were established, right? They look to me like these people are pretty confident in their state, right? Yeah. Like like they've been see the, like uh, see the, the, thing, the thing you gotta understand is, bro, um some of these people were from other countries and they were yeah they were well dressed and they were well you know but you gotta you gotta you gotta establish where are they from first the, the these these kids right here are, are are in mexico i know that for a fact these okay. kids right here are in mexico you okay. know what i'm saying this this is this is this is just central mexico okay so 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 i'm trying i'm trying to answer so if, if there was i have a hard time with believing uh that that uh there were these africans that that blended in i have a hard time believing that i believe if they came they, they was coming with the indentured servants you know they was the ones that bring them over here. they was the ones had control of white teeth right and when they brought them over here they brought all their bs and then uh and, and this, this See, is I didn't, the I didn't, knowledge i got I didn't actually see this video, so explain to me what was going on with the pictures again. So basically, there there is specific colors, right? Uh, so yeah. there's there's the, the flag of Haiti, right? Oh, let me see if I can make it smaller. That's the that's the Haiti flag. Uh, he kind of he he kind he kind he kind of had oh he didn't have it up here where I need it. I I've been really in because he goes deep into like the Haiti but anyway. The colors of them people, what what was black, white, and red, right? And now, yeah. and, and and now, when you see uh, uh, like George Washington, what's he wearing? That he does, he's not. You see, you see, you see the Empire sigil right there on on that post. See that? That's the Empire yeah. sigil yeah. on that post right there. That same shield, that same shield that was on that thing. I know I didn't have the full picture. Now, 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 watch this. Look who's keeping an eye on him in that picture. <laughs> That ain't no slave, bro. How we dress? He got the turban. And remember how George Washington said we took the turbans off the heads. Remember? Come on, man. Yeah. It's right there. Is this one of the original painting? And, 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 so, and so, when they came here, with... so you're saying, so you're saying, you, that he was talking about Moors coming over with with YT colonizers. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, that them them was they them was oh, little fluffy. Oh, they were oh, servants, right? They was already here. I well, I think I think that this from brought brought that right. Yeah, that's the only way I would because the way we reacted to them was like we really didn't know what to do with them. You feel what I'm saying? So 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 we so so we so we freed them and gave them their own spot. You little thirteen colonies. And if you look on the back of the two dollar bill, when they sign that, that, that that's the signing of yo y'all on your own now, be good. There's a black man on the back of the two dollar bill who literally yeah literally signing signing it like he's the one and he's looking and, and he's and he's breaking the fourth wall. You feel what I'm saying? He's looking directly at you. Okay, but that's I see the, what you're saying. But that's the but, the, but that's saying. the colors right there. You see the man behind it. That's the, the red. Uh, and let me see if I can find more. I got more pictures of the royalty. Look at him. That that's the uh, uh, Jean P. Uh, that uh, 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 the real a real a real uh, black hero. What's his name? Uh, uh, Jean Pierre Boyer, right? Yeah. 
he yeah. he was he had he was the one running this. Like he he he's he's the guy that 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 gave them the, the little thirteen colonies, right? To where they could yeah. govern themselves. There's thirteen colonies of indentured servants. So was he supposedly supposed to be from the islands, or he from he from Spain, or, or, or he a European? He from the island. Now, my here's my whole thing with 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 when people talk about Spain and England. When they, I love the maps, so I'm always deep into the maps. Whenever I look at the maps, they talk yeah. about uh, New England, New Spain, but on the old maps, that New England, New Spain was what Spain and England is now. They was calling that new, right? So I am so you, I strongly, okay, so you, I strongly so you said, uh, believe that these places already existed over here. Okay, that's what you're saying. You're saying these places already existed over here, and they and they created the other ones after it was already here. Right, right. Because, because, because you got to think, why would you just name it that? If there wasn't nowhere you came from or were familiar with that that was doing it big, why would you name some new England? New, and, and that's what shows up on, on the old maps. When you look at oh, new uh, England uh, on the old map is, 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 is in Europe. That's what you're saying. Right, right, yep. <laughs> it's all it's in Europe. You got, you got a receipt of that? I sure do. Let me check it out. And and this is and, and the receipt I'm about to show you is a monster receipt because I think they're lying to us about the size of Bermuda. I know I brought this up before, but there, there it is. Man. Yeah. That's 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 that New England, right? Let me see if I can uh, get a better a better one of it, because the one that clearly shows like the New England. But if you look at the if you can you can Google this ancient Bermuda maps, and you can and you can look in the corner. It's talking about some New England, right? In the corner of that, ah, I won't it won't really show it on here. I got I got to take a screenshot. Shrink it down. Right? I got to shrink it. Now, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Now, see, I, I, the New England and, I, and the, the New Spain part is interesting to me, but I know for sure um, places like Cairo, Memphis, um, those type of names were moved around the world. Now, I know that for sure, but I'm not, I'm not, I, I haven't really studied into like New England and, and um, stuff like that, but I know Cairo and Memphis and Bethlehem and all that stuff, that stuff was moved around. <laughs> I studied those, but man, they, it's, it's interesting. Here's that receipt. Here's that, here's that receipt. See that? Look at that. You see that? It's in that New England. Yeah, it says on England. The, on the, on the, on England. The, it, it, it says New above it. See that? It's New England on the little uh, uh, piece above it. To my new right England. here, the top, top, top right, right here. Mm -hmm. Or the bottom, or it's the bottom right. England. The top, the top, uh, uh, that bottom is oh, is part of Bermuda. At that bottom is is part of Bermuda. That Bermuda a lot bigger than what they're telling us. You know what I'm saying? That's how I believe yeah. this Mr. Columbus or whoever he was got it. He was island hopping. Cause, cause I know I. I see what you're saying now. I'm not as worried on, on the advanced stuff as you do. So right now I'm, I've started going live on my channel, uh, debunking the slave trade, and this is the That's big a good piece of it because the most. Them, them boats are a big thing. Them boats was only, uh, this is what we're looking like in the 1700s. This is not the bigger they boats were. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 I started and, the boat. If you're reading this, this if you're reading this, it's talking about them sailing around Africa, going to India. So they just they just traveling around the coast. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really going out nowhere. Yeah. So so yeah. so now I got so now I got and these are flat bottom boats. If you know anything about like uh, uh, engineering and boats, you know that if, if your boat is flat bottom, when it starts to tip, it will keep tip tipping. The round yeah. makes it flip back upright. So if you're if you're telling me that uh, uh, the majority of this happened uh, 14, 1500s. Now you, you you it's gonna make some of you laugh when I show you this because this is how big them ships were in the, in the 1500s, man. Tiny with the, with the crew with the, uh, uh I got another one I think it would show me it's even it's even smaller. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. 
Well, let me let me drop this. So they they're telling us the slave trade was abolished 1801, and you've seen how big the largest ships were. Yeah, 1808. So let's uh -huh. say for the sake let's let's say for the sake of argument, we were just we were just shackled ankle to ankle in the bottom of these ships, right? Have you seen what happens yeah. when a uh, yacht lo a yacht loses power in the middle of the Atlantic? They got to be rescued, but they got to airlift them out of there. But you're telling us that when it was a storm back in the day, they just uh, brought up the sails and surrendered the ship to the ocean. Get out of here. One, a, a rogue yeah. wave on a calm day would have smashed one of them so, tar, tar held together little flat bottom ships. So let me let me let me get what you're saying. Let me get what you're saying. You're saying those like those European states came from here first. And they went and well, traveled to Europe and settled Europe, and 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 um, I, you know, you know, we know the slave trade, and they and they, and they, and they, and they made their way back through, through through Bermuda. They made their way back through Bermuda, and they and they went to, they went and settled Europe, and then they came back to America. That's what you're saying. They made their way back through Bermuda. You look at these old Bermuda maps; they even got the names of the people. <laughs> They even got the yeah. last names on it. Like, see all, see all the things on that's a whole list of last names. That 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 yeah, that's, yeah, that's they, where that's where, that's where your kingdom are. You're saying George's Island is right here. It's right it's right up on the on the on the uh right hand side, up at the top. Let me see if I can get a good a better picture. That's your saying George's Island. When they talk about that, well, that's where King George was. He was really he was really a hybrid. He really a light skin. You know what I'm saying? So these people, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you, you have to send me the receipt so I can check them out. Yeah, man. Uh, There's a lot of old maps. There's a lot of old maps I ain't got into yet. I got to get into the you old see maps. How you, I love the maps. You see how it says the tribes on here? It's given the last, the Smith tribe. Yeah, it did, yes. It says, it says uh, Hamilton, Smith is Hamilton tribe, I believe. They say Smith is an indigenous name to America. They did. I have read that a couple of times. These, these, these are the these are these exiled Moors on their way back. You know what I'm saying? It was going to lie tobacco up in here. So, uh, so I'm saying I'm just trying, so I'm just trying how, to they, get they, it. They, they, I'm trying to get it together for the people who listen, so they, so they can understand what you're trying to say. You're saying right, right, right. The the Moors left here. They from here. They left here. Went over there, well, we, we, got we, kicked out of Spain, know, yeah. got kicked out of Spain, and they came back. Well, they they, they they more so got bred out of the royalty in Spain, and that that's why that's why uh uh, uh the the English is uh, well European kings have been known for their uh uh less than dignified uh breeding practices. You know, it doesn't really get outside the family for a reason. They want to get us the heck out of there. Yeah, they, 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 they always do. So, they so, so, so they go. So that, so that, so it's gonna be with themselves. You see what I'm saying? This, yeah, so, this, so very, like, this not, very interesting. This very interesting. So like, I gotta research. I gotta research it more though. But it's yeah, interesting. man. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm gonna get up off here, man. But I just wanted to share this with you because people don't talk about this, and everybody wanna silence me whenever I bring it up. So I appreciate <laughs> you for letting me. For letting oh me no speak, problem, man. man. I, I, so I, I got I, my receipt, so I know about it. I just want to hear what people, you know what I'm saying? I just want to see and hear about different receipts and, and you know, we'll go from there, bro. Yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not telling you, you uh, see, this is how it happened, but this is how I'm open. No, you got to keep, a, you gotta sure keep an happened. open mind. You got to keep an open yeah, mind. You got to keep an open mind. Yeah, you right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there was one more thing before I go. You see, you right. see the top of, you see the top of this receipt. You see that purple bit at the top. That's your, that's your green link. You know what I'm saying? That's Greenland. You see that purple that that, that, that hooks down? That, that's your Greenland, yeah, right? Or your Nova, whatever. Right. So yeah. have you you know how they always talk about and, and, and the government will really admit this. There is something big and active in the middle of that. Right? It's they say there's a pyramid in there. Or like or like an alien ship. Have you heard about that? How they say there's some in there? In the center of it? Yeah. You heard the story on this old map. Yeah. This but but see, this is the thing about it. Yeah, I see that. Mm, it really I shows. There's a big old pyramid in the middle of it. They, <laughs> ain't not slick, man. I'm just trying to put these things together. You know what I mean? Now, now let me explain something to you while you're studying about 
the 1800s, bro. A lot had already changed in the world in the 1800s. So 100. percent So we cannot we cannot just stamp it in. We can't just stamp it like it's all the way correct because by the 1800s, a lot of bloodlines had already switched up. By the 1700s, 1800s, a lot of bloodlines had already switched up. That's why I kind of stay on the ancient times because around the time we we talking about 16, 17, 1800s, a lot of trickery and bullshit was going on. So you well, got to really, really study that area of time. Between the 1400s and the 1800s, you got to dig deep because it's a lot of misinformation and trickery and paperwork and, and maps and and going on to try to I make people, gotta, you know, <laughs> who 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 they who they claim they are. But I said, but I want you to get in my DM so I can get you my email so you can send this stuff to me, bro. Cause I I do want to check this out though. For sure, for sure. I'm I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put my my I'm gonna drop down and put my email in there. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so like, figure, you know, yeah, yeah, my DM. Cause I'm I love the maps and so I if I. Whenever I find maps, places, I screenshot them all, man. I love the maps. The you map see, is the biggest way to mess this up. One more thing I want you to take into account about these sure. maps. Indigenous Americans not making maps. That's the whole thing. That's the that's the part that we didn't care nothing about no map. See, when you get a map from over from a person made from Spain or or you know, or England or you know they they got bias on the maps, so well the only reason they had maps because they didn't know where they was at. We knew where we was at, so why we need a map? They knew where they was at. Well, what we, how, well how, 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 hey, how do we? Do, let me explain do we something to you. Let me explain something to you. Egyptians had maps with America on there, bro. Wait, what? they don't teach you that. I got oh. the receipt now. You gotta show me that, that man. These people knew <laughs> about this landmass in BC times. I'm hip on so, that, but I didn't know they had maps. Bro, I, I ain't put I ain't dropped my receipts on there yet because I ain't through studying it. See, I don't okay. I don't try to drop it out until I can, you know, explain it the way I want to explain it. But all right, all right. there is an Egyptian map found in an Egyptian temple with North and South America on the map, bro. Wow. And it's, it, 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 it's mind blowing because it's letting us know that these cultures knew about these sides of the different sides of the world. They and, had to have. And so you got to take that into account with maps you see in the 17, 16, 1800s. Um, that somebody already knew this information and they were already doing maps. But but we'll yep. get into it a little deeper, bro. I still I want I want the receipts though. For sure, like on my live the other the other day, I I was explaining why uh, the the whole Columbus story they tell us literally doesn't make any sense unless they knew about each other. Yeah, exactly. It could be, and and, he, and here's here's the biggest thing I think people will talk about. If you're gonna go to Africa to get slaves, right? Then people don't have no skills. They don't even speak your language. Slaves have yeah, to have I, some I, sort of skill to, no. to be valuable to you. You already know I've been I've been busting it upside the head. Man, it's if crazy. they don't have the agriculture. Fuck, fuck the language. We can work around the language, but they don't have the agriculture skills to be slaves in America. They don't have it, bro. Right, and, and like you and like drop, you cannot drop an African in Mississippi and Alabama and tell him to grow cotton, bro. It just it don't work. Work it just won't work. Yeah. <laughs> If they so and if they so called hopped out the trees like they said they did when they when they came, why not just enslave them people? Because you're obviously dealing with some primitive ass people. They don't know what's going on allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't make no, sense. They don't know what's going on, bro. Yeah, well, man, man, yeah. Up, yeah for sure. Now. Uh, yeah, shoot, shoot me the DM, bro. Good question. We'll do. We'll do. All right. Shout out to Big Baller, man. Y'all follow Big Baller, bro. Um, we gotta see this. The, see this. The thing. This is the thing I want my people to understand. Um, we have to go back far enough in history to understand what's going on when they got here. We got to already know what they was on when they got here. So 
when we look at these maps and we look at these um uh all this Moorish stuff, all this Spain and the Caribbean, and we got to understand what was going on around the world before we can understand about people coming coming here. Cause a lot of this stuff is misinformation when it comes from other people. I have never saw a map made by indigenous American, melanated American before colonization. I have never saw one. That shows me that they were not worried about the rest of the world. <laughs> they didn't give a fuck. They were living good on their own land. They were not trying to, in see you make maps when you're trying to get somewhere and invade. You want to get somewhere and take something. You want to, you, you need a direction to go to find new land. When you don't make maps, you ain't studying, you ain't, you're not really concerned about Europe or Africa or you know, so we got to look into it. And then all these maps got all this Moorish stuff on it. It's hard to decipher it. That's why I kind of stay out of it a little bit. Um, yeah, maps are made to map out empires. I'm going to go take over that. I'm going to take over that. I'm going to take over that. <laughs> Roll the coin. So and that's why I kind of get out of map. That's what I kind of get out of maps, man. Uh, who was up first, man? Uh, Angel Flow, what's up? Let me get a good question. You got a receipt to drop, we'll drop it. Yes, hello. Hey, how you doing? Hi, teacher. How are you? <laughs> it's an honor to be here, um, talking to you. Um, we admire you. We love what you're doing, and I'm so thankful for you. I just want to say um, I appreciate everything that you're doing. I'm always in the um, in the in the crowd, yeah. just loving everything that you're bringing forward, and it's so amazing the way that you're able to put this information together, um, find the artifacts, or find the, the the you know the history behind it, and then connect it. I just wanted to say I saw that that young man he was on and he was you know talking about oh, we gotta go in all this and whatever and I just wanted to say that this is the crowning of a nation the rediscovery of an ancient people the world needs to know about it this ain't no coming in through no side door or no back door you know what I'm saying yeah. um, there are scholars who believe the same thing that you believe that we've always been here um, Rod Hayes said, we've been here so long, we don't even, you know, he, um, there's so many people that preach the same thing. So it's not something that you have to do alone. Or, you know, we can um, do petitions and then have everybody sign it and whatever, let the whole world know that th this is an ancient people who have been stripped of their culture and they know who they are and we're regaining our land, our legacy, and our identity. This is profound and this is prolific, man. This, this is, is this, yes. People don't understand how how powerful and, and what- It what is. This stuff is. This is legendary stuff. This is not just everyday knowledge and this stuff is, like you say, it's prolific. Yes. And this is why when people are coming like, no, we don't need no war stuff. This isn't coming through no back door, no side door. This is monumental. This is an occasion that is so necessary and so brilliant at the same time. It's not nothing to, to hide or make war about. It's a movement for people who have been stripped and now they're claiming their identity because they see the truth and the legacy as you have presented it. Earth Speaks have presented it. Asir, the Duke of Tears, have presented it. Many more have presented this. I've been hearing this. Shit, my father used to talk about this. You know? Yeah, um, I, 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 I really like um, Rod Hayes is a great teacher because 
one thing Rod Hayes makes me understand is you got to study the whole planet. Yeah. You can't just teach out of Africa all the time because it's not linking up with the rest of the, this is a planet. This is not a country. Hello. The planet. So Rod Hayes is a, is a, he great. He knows European, he knows Spanish, he know history from all countries, American history. And, yeah. And when I study, when I, you know, when I, when I started um, years ago, I studied around the world first before I came up with the conclusions I come up with today. So, you know, a lot of people teach it from one part of the world and it, it is not enough knowledge to teach it. Because yeah. Because it's not linking in everywhere else. It, but, it, sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm like, teacher, teacher, I got to raise my hand. Ooh, 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 let me speak. You know, because I'm like, you know, I just love you and everyone that's on here. We really appreciate what you're doing. And this is not something that you need to do alone. We could have committees like even Rod can be on there. Um, you know, Asir, um, all of these other people. I know some geneticists, you know, that. That's what, um, we, need. That's what we need. Yeah. We have geneticists out there that can help us to do what we got to do. We have scientists out there that will be blown away by where, what we're trying to accomplish. It is a fantastic endeavor. And I just want to say, oh man, I can't wait because man, come on, imagine the people know who they are on this land. They're reclaiming their heritage, their legacy. Oh my goodness, this is, it's amazing. You know how powerful it'll be to link somebody to link somebody like me from Mississippi to, yeah. a, to a mound builder culture in Mississippi with mounds still on the ground. Wow. That would be like the top goal. Mind blowing, yeah. You know <laughs> it would be yeah. mind blowing, yeah. <laughs> I know, now I know where to go to, 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 to feel my ancestor spirit. Yes. On the landmass where we from, and that's monumental to me. That's what drives me. Hello. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that it's something that we should be proud of. It's nothing that we need to hide or come in through no back door on. No, we ain't and coming through the side door. We coming, we kicking in the front. Exactly. And there's going to be a lot of fanfare. Around, a lot of all the people sneaking around trying to come in through the side. They're not our people. Exactly. Because there's going to be so many people that's going to join this movement. Yeah. It's going to make your head spin. And that's all you got to do as the head um, honcho, oh, yeah. so to speak, the HNIC, you know what I'm saying? You can pick um, who you're going to, no, seriously, you're going to pick who you're going to have on this team, you, Earth Speaks, you know, and, and how you're going to go about it and sit down and really determine, hey, this is the way we're going to do it because this is going to filter out this and this is going to filter out that. And... You know, we'll come up with committees and, and certain things on ways that people can get involved. People can um, give suggestions and ideas as how to, you know, do certain things. How are we going to do the DNA thing? Um, all those people who came from that area or this area, wherever mounds are, can come, you know. And if they have, um, let's say, oh, grandpa been telling them, oh, we from the mound builders and guess what? They're from in Florida, are they in Iowa, are they in Mississippi, are they in, you know what I'm saying? They can come and say, hey, man, we, I believe that I'm from this, these people, this tribe. And, you know, because we're going to need a, this mounds all over this Americas. Mounds, millions of them. Yeah. So guess what? We're going to have a lot of people that are going to, you know, um, come up. Yeah, so it, it's really a brilliant idea, teacher. I just wanted to come and say, teacher, teacher, ooh, let me put my two cents in and let me just thank you and tell you we are so amazed and we love you and we appreciate you. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess you could drop me down now, but yo, yes, wait, wait, let me roll my corn. <laughs> Follow Angel. Follow Angel. <laughs> right now she right we gotta we gotta we gotta get scientists we gotta get dna people from dna to dna from from our people to the mound builders we have to do that 
Like that's the only way we gotta have our own people who are trustworthy and not and not down with the other people. But I wanna say this. Um that I know a lot of people want to think everything came from America, as in Moorish stuff, as in but their cult, a lot of people's cultures are different from ours, people. You can't hide your culture. That's one thing you can't hide. Those people don't hide their culture. And you can tell by their culture that they're not us. Can't hide the culture. You cannot, you can't hide greed. You can't hide greed, people. You can't hide trickery and misinformation and slide through the back door trying to get in on some shit. You can't hide that. And the last thing, you can't hide the bloodline. You can't hide it. So once we get the a sample of the real bloodline out of a lot of these mounds, you're not gonna be able to hide no more. You can hide but behind your skin tone, but you can't hide behind a bloodline of an ancient person in a mound. You can't hide behind it. Roll the coin. That's why I want to do that, because that separates the real from the fake. That separates the so-called this from that. And that's the only way we can do it, people, because people, anybody can say anything. But we got to, you know, you know, you can't, you can't hide that. That's one thing we can't hide. Roll the coin. I'm gonna let um um Dada or uh, people up here for a minute. Dada, give me a question, bro. Or kick a receipt. All right, what's good, man? Uh, Dada coming out of uh, California. My people from Mississippi. Though. We from the we from the Delta, Leland. So my people from Arcola. It's a mound in Arcola, actually. It's, Arcola. it's three mounds in Arcola. It's funny you said that I was just studying Arcola, bro. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, so I wanted to know. And it's good that it came up. What haplo groups would you guess would be here if they was to d dig up some haplo groups? Because I know that I'm a, I'm big into the haplo group thing, yeah. but a lot of people are not. They don't even trust DNA. But what you were saying made a good point because it seemed like whenever you got Native American ancestry, they don't tell you what kind of natives. Yeah, yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? We can't we can't believe we can't go off the haplo groups because they they messed it all up, bro. Cause see, they're testing it against Mongol blood, Asian blood. So they test your blood against an Asian or Mongol blood, you're gonna automatically not be from America. <laughs> you gotta look at the base sample. You see what I'm saying? They 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 they're going off the base sample is those people. So you're gonna always not match up with the base. DNA that they're they're basing our blood against theirs. You see what I'm saying? I, I get what you're saying. Like if if they if they get all blood from people that's had a a reservation that look like them, and sample it against my blood, I'm not gonna match them. You ain't gonna never match. Them. Yeah, and then I see I see that the Native Americans actually put a federal lawsuit to stop scientists from digging up Native Americans, so that uh, so they can't even dig up. It's it's a federal crime to dig up a Native American. Or whatever you want to call it, India Mound. It's a federal crime. Scientists, if you did it, you're going to jail, even if you got the results. So they're not going to do it. But uh, I don't know, bro. I did a DNA test. It said 2% Native American. I wasn't mad at it. I heard, I heard my grandma got some Native American in her blood, so it made sense on that side. Me and my dad, Puerto Rican, it went to Bur Bermuda, what he was saying. If you do a DNA test with, with some of these companies, they're going to tell you that the the people in Bermuda were called mar Maroons, people that fought back. Maroons, yeah. Bermuda comes out as Maroons, but they label them Afro-Caribbeans. But then you got a little piece of your DNA that says unknown. So I'm just like you, bro. Like you said, dig up. Dig See, this, up. The, this the thing. This is the thing. That's why I'm talking about I want us to get together. And we going, I don't want to dig it up. I want to go to these, the museums, I already got it. Like we gotta find out a way to get this stuff through these people. This stuff I already dug up. It's already boxed up. It's already somewhere up on the museum boxed up. It's already there. But you look at it the wrong way, bro. 
we cannot test our DNA against what they call an indigenous American because what they call an indigenous American is a Mongol, is an Asian, is a China man, is a yeah, that blood you group. Two, you got two percent. You got two percent because you ain't no Mongol. You ain't no Asian. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why you're not matching up. See, yeah. the DNA tests are, 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 are they, they are based, they are, they are designed for certain people not to get led to certain lanes, bro. They not gonna tell you you 100% from America. Then you're gonna be like, hold on. How am I indigenous to America and they told me we're from Africa all my life? It don't go together. The story not gonna make. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. They're going to always match our DNA with West Africa or South Africa every time doing a DNA test. Yeah, I mean, I, I match with West Africa and Europe. So, you know, you know, your ancestors are from West Africa. I mean, I, I believe so. Like, you know how it is, like, back in them days, like, if you ask them old heads, they don't even be telling their kids who they real daddy be. They don't, don't know. Make- they don't be knowing, bro. They don't be knowing stuff like it was a lot of midwives back in them days, so ain't no birth certificates and birth records. The only way, the only way you can kind of get an idea of your genealogy, bro, you got to go back and do it yourself. I'm talking about all the far as you can go back and see what land mass they own and and what they were doing and and, and who mixed with who to to get me here. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Hey, but don't clown me. But I'm gonna tell you a little quick story before I get off. Yeah. So I did the DNA shit, right? And then it, it linked me with my grandfather. My dad didn't know his dad. And it linked me with my grandfather, and I looked just like him. And he had a picture of his dad, and it went all the way back up like, to the fifth, huh? Uh, it was it from Mississippi, or they was from um, the island somewhere? They was, they was from uh, Illinois. They was from Kentucky. Missouri, Kentucky, Illinois, all the, the back down in Mississippi. So when these men popped up, bro, I'm going to tell you some real shit. It popped up. My fifth grandfather was called a mulatto and it was a picture of him and his wife my grandmother my fifth this is my father's 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 father and they was on the side of a shack with some siblings and they was all slaves and um it's like in the late 1800s and then his father was a white man bro and then the dna told me like your haplo group is a european white haplo group so i was like all right but my mom mom they don't know her mom's mom because they wouldn't talk about her. It's crazy, bro. But that's the, that's the lady they say had Indian. But I did the DNA test and that's what it had for me. So I'm just throwing that out there. Bro. What did the DNA test say? It said you were mostly West African. It said I'm mostly West African. Like, I took three yeah. DNA tests. I took three of them. Yeah. And all of them came back the same way. Uh, Some of them had different stuff that others didn't, which let me know that they control what's in the database, what you're going to see. Like, yeah, yeah. some shit is unexplainable. Like, 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 you can on your own. That's the only way we can really do it, man. But the base DNA, even though people came over here, you know, it, like you say, mixed in, got a white man mixed in somewhere, with, you know what I'm saying? They, that happens. But it still don't trump indigenous DNA. It still don't trump it. That's why it's still important for us to get the real matches with the, with the, with the basis of our DNA to, to ancient people. And then we can we can kind of tell the difference between them. That's a good good questions though, bro. I uh, appreciate it. Hey, you, follow, hey, let me get some follows, man. I'm trying to go live too. Right. Follow Dada, man. Follow Dada right now. Throw 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 the, throw, the, um, throw something in the chat, bro. Follow Dada, people. Follow Dada. Shalom. Roll the coin. Copper, what up? Let me talk shit with Copper right quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> they would never test positive of being the Americans because you're not the test subject. The test subject is the ones that they designated to be the American. Um, not the American, but United States. We're not United States. We are the Americans. So you shouldn't match up with them, period, because United States is a corporation here operating on our land. Exactly. They call them modern day Americans. Exactly. You, I mean, modern, you, yeah, I what people you think know. modern? Well, I know you know. I know you know. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> 
I know exactly what they're doing. They're not gonna test our DNA against no 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 Mongol. It's not gonna never nope. ever. The We're not Mongol. <laughs> and I, and and this is where our people are confused that when they when they say your grandma uh or your people are American Indian, you looking over there at them. Those are Alaskan natives slash Russian Siberians. Exactly. They all type of stuff. Yeah, I mean, those are not your people. Quit looking over at those people thinking that those are the people that you got your Indian grandma and them and all them from. No, exactly. you confused. They switched the whole, they switched the whole tribe out, people. Yes, exactly. You are totally different people from your the original tribe. Yes. I mean, these people took on your tribe, your tribal name. A lot of people. <laughs> go ahead exactly because like i was talking about the other day um french fur traders and mongols or or, or choctaw chiefs how exactly because they 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 took over our they took over everything we got they took over our we're gonna say it like it is these are corporations all your all your tribes were businesses yeah. You a business. You just don't know how to operate out here like a business. Exactly. But they got they when they send that mail to your house in those uh capital letters, they telling you you a business. Mm -hmm. But since you don't know it, I mean you out here like send it back to them, return the sender. I'm not no business. You ain't taught me no business. And they make it money. Let me out here operating. And they making money off your social security number. Thanks. Since you were born, before you was born. Yeah, then I was soon your mama went and got that <laughs> test said you were pregnant. You was already in the data bank. They was already bed no. <laughs> As an African American um, yes. um, a business under your name, whatever your name gonna be when mm -hmm. they birth you. And see, yes. they need to understand that also with that African American, you can't be two continents. Exactly. African American was just coined by uh Jesse Jackson and his cronies back in 1988 so what happened to the the uh so-called black the uh colored the negro the mulatto the Indian? what happened to all those people they just disappeared exactly they want you to forget about all these other people all everybody yeah they want you to forget about everything exactly and i don't do haplo group y'all ain't putting me in no, no group y'all ain't group me up because see once you go back and read this is how crazy people i mean even if you look at the SF-181 form, when you look up on the American Indian, Native American, it says a person having any uh, having origin with any of the original people and yep. still have a tribal affiliation. Yep. When you, you get to uh, Black and awesome. African American, it says a person having uh, origin with any of the racial groups out of Africa. Exactly. You ain't part of the original origin of the people in Africa. You are part of a group of people who have the same ideology. <laughs> you can have one drop and they're gonna and yeah. they're they gonna get give you everything if you got one drop of the blood. I mean the ideology itself telling you it said it's a racial group. So that means we all believe in the same thing. I mean black uh what they call a black power movement. It's a movement. My bloodline is not a movement. You don't connect me to that. Exactly. So don't I mean I'm not even probably you know those people. Exactly. People need to wake up. Hey, you right, because a lot of people uh I be thinking a lot of people understand a lot of this stuff, but they really be don't they don't be understanding. They don't. They don't understand it. You can't you can't connect yourself to natives at all. I mean, you can't no. trace you can't trace nobody back to no landmass do no uh blood work but you can trace me back by my uh documents my exactly. documents don't say where i'm at where because, i was where my people were you can't lie about them documents no nope. can't lie about them documents and what i've been showing people lately um uh, couple mm -hmm. i'll be showing people this right here that's a square on these mound complexes yeah right that's to keep mongols out oh they I'm don't tell you, i'm gonna tell you how deep this stuff is mm -hmm. they said real hebrews lived in a hollow square to keep invaders out wow <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
when we find all these old megalithic walls under the ground buried and stuff like that, that was the key. That, that was around places like mound complexes and stuff, right? Yeah. These people been attacking us forever. Yeah. They have. They have been taking out structures and names and, 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 and all this stuff for thousands and thousands. I want people to understand it. it it's not new when Mongols come around. They've been attacking us. That's who we was fighting. That's who we've been fighting the whole oh, time. Man. They don't get it. We've been fighting them the whole time. They retrieved and went back because they their agenda was to one day conquer. That is why you see their image of their face on every landmass. And they are there saying that they are the indigenous people of every landmass. It's right in your face. You got to see it. Right in your face. We put that wall up for a reason. Facts. <laughs> and that's is a fact. And I like the and I've been showing people this. Let me get back to the light. I've been showing people this lately because we got to understand somebody was messing with us, people. Mm -hmm. And when I do the research, look at all these mound complexes with the walls around them. Okay. Why are we well, putting all these? When they add them to the forts, because we had forts everywhere as well. Start forts with the wall, with the Yes, mold. yes. You know, you, know, you know I'm on them now. You know I'm on them start forts because it's irrigation and protection and crops all in one. Yep. Oh, uh, let me show you. Like this right here. Yes. Right on the Mississippi River, Vicksburg, Mississippi, right? Mm -hmm. This is to protect the people living inside, grow crops with the water inside. Don't let you flood out. You are protected in a star fort, people. But that part. why do you think the military made these things military forts now? Because they was originally made to keep enemies out. Yep. That's why I say when they said that they came here and conquered us and did it. No, they didn't. We had start for it. They wasn't rolling up on our beaches and shores like it. No, they wasn't no. crazy. No, it, it took them a long time to get a couple of spots. Yep. I mean, it took them almost 200 years to get into the state of Tennessee. Exactly. exactly. So who was exactly. they fighting? Exactly. And then we talk about the Great Wall of China. Mm-hmm. Um, Genghis Khan got through there like in the 1200s or something. A lot of them came over here that way. See, we, the Great Wall was here to stop them. Yeah. That wall we goes all the way across. We got to, we got to understand it. It's there for a reason. They just didn't build that wall for no reason. I mean, go down into Peru. That wall down there is in Peru. It's, it's one in Peru. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. They trying to knock the whole top of the area off where you're going. You go this way to go to Alaska. Yeah. So it's you, you know what? I thought about when they took down the wall in Germany. Was that part of that wall? You remember they kept saying they're going to tear down the wall and eventually. Yeah, they... It might have been. Uh, I believe that was part of that wall. Might have been. Because I, I just saw walls. It's walls in Mississippi buried all, going all across the state. I'm like, why is this there? Mm -hmm. Why is this there? But we gotta start understanding, y'all. This made to keep somebody out. Yeah, them, earth, them earthworks, tall, 10, 12 foot walls. It, we, we, who are we keeping out? Exactly. We, we living over here in peace. Why do we have to put a wall up? Somebody started trying to invade us long time ago, and the walls speak for itself. That's why we got megalithic walls, like you say in Peru. In Montana, yeah, yep. we keeping somebody out, That's and the only people who can get here at that in BC times was, was people that look like us from East Asia. Yep, Pacific. You ain't, coming, you ain't coming from no Europe or no Africa back then far back, and you coming through the Pacific. Yeah, not enough to invade us. You got to be coming in a mm -hmm. short, small area of water, or. Something you could get on a little canoe and go across and get over here, or, or when it freezes, come on, walk over here around the shores. So, Mongols they 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 created the history of America. We got to start studying them, people, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
They are the reason. They're talking about the mound builders vanished. No, the Mongols killed a lot of them. That's the truth. Yeah. I even got receipts talking about they, they ganged up and wanted to kill mound builders. I got receipts for all that. It's the truth. See can I find it. Uh, I have to find it later, y'all. But like, like I say, I got receipts of them ganging up trying to kill mound builders. I mean, oh. we brought everything to the world, but yet we the most hated. <laughs> this is crazy. I, 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 now I understand it, um, Copper Empress. I understand it mm -hmm. now. They, they, that's what that's where Hebrew comes from. Hebrews were the most hated people in the world because they were, they were more intelligent. They they lived better. They grew crops. They mined. They had gold. They mm -hmm. had they had their own um style of government. And everywhere in the world, people, they hated them. But you know, they, you notice that they go to school over there. Uh, seven days a week. I mean, all year round, right? Yep. They've been trying to catch up with us forever. <laughs> forever. forever. When what I comes like, natural to us didn't never come natural to nobody else. Exactly. When I do my studies, everywhere Hebrews went, they they were trying to kill them and take them to slave. Everywhere they went in the world, <laughs> and we got to start noticing it. And and when I and when I be teaching people about this agriculture. I'm just not teaching you to roll the corn just for agriculture. I'm teaching you that Hebrews were the first farmers in the world, people. That's what the part of the game they don't want to teach us. Hebrews were yes. the first civilized farmers aligning stuff with the stars in the world. Now, if I prove the original agriculture aligned with the stars came from America, that means the American people are the original Hebrews. Thanks. They don't want me to prove it. No, they killed Oscar Nazi Jews. They killed the Nile River. They killed every culture on the earth. I mean, it's our history. truth is going to debunk everybody else's history. Exactly. That's that's why people come out to us on these on these uh, platforms and argue with us because our truth is the truth ain't never been told. Exactly. And our truth is what's going to demolish all world history. Exactly. Our truth gonna fuck the world up. Yep, <laughs> that part. It's gonna fuck the whole world. I mean, the world is a crime scene, just ain't broke off. Exactly. That's all it is. Yep. A lot of people, a lot of people got away with it, and they made killers. They made killers heroes. Yep. I mean, and they made, they made an organized crime heroes, and call them your government. Exactly. Throw statues of them up. Like yes. Now, what they do with the statues, what I noticed, it be the name of the real people, but not the face of the real people. Yep. So when they was out here tearing down our monuments, it wasn't the stat, it wasn't the face of the statue, y'all. It was the name of the statue. So yes. actually, in reality, those was your people, and y'all was out here cheering for them to take down your people because of the color they gave you. These people ain't never been nobody. They only become somebody once they step into your shoes and pretend to be you. Exactly. And That's keep trying right. to tell people this stuff is deeper than what you think it is. What they these people throwing, doing? They throw them Native American Mongols up on real indigenous melanated people names and throw the statues. Yep. yep, sure do. They're going to throw up um, um, to King Tuscaloosa looking like a mongo knowing that man was a melanated <laughs> man. <laughs> I mean, if you look close at the pictures and stuff that they be uh from a long time ago they cropped i mean they they photoshopped with uh tps in behind them y'all america was built all the way up when these people invaded exactly all the way up yeah i mean we had skyscrapers and everything and they knew it Exactly. That's why I be showing people mound builders already had magnificent cities already here. I'm talking about when they when they, they found in magnificent cities, putting it in the newspaper yep. in the 1800s. 
I'm gonna but, give you a song that people should pay attention. Y'all used to love this song. You should hear your parents him sing his song. Papa was a rolling stone wherever he laid his head was his home. They were stone masons. Y'all, our people built these buildings. They went around the world building this stuff. Exactly. And they tell you, wherever he laid his hat was his home. They're not lying. It wasn't about land with women. He was going to build civilizations. <laughs> we the only people that have ever built civilizations. Exactly. Because, like I say, it 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 took some it took somebody doing some type of science to create corn. Facts. Corn just don't grow in your backyard, and you just throw it in a pot. And you notice with that coin, you remember, I mean, you younger than me, so I remember the movie Children of the Corn. They had several sequels. No, Who y'all think they was talking about? But they always got to make everything about you mysterious, spooky. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's funny you just brought that up. I'm, that's, how, that's, how, that's, how, that's how the universe works. Stephen King wrote Children of the Corn, right? Yes. Pet Cemetery. I researched Stephen King and everything mysterious about America, he went out there and lived around it, studied it, mm. learned the area, and he wrote all of his movies based off um ancient mounds and ancient mm. ruins in America. That's yeah. why the, that's why Pet Cemetery is wrote is written by Stephen King. Mm. And then and didn't he write they live too? Exactly. Now he they buried them pits on top of a, a Micmac Indian mound aligned with the stars is in Pit Cemetery. Mm, mm, mm. These people wrote hieroglyphics. Stephen King knew this. That's why he was so great at writing books and writing movies. Everything he Damn. He'll put real life sacred spots in the movie, then put some, you know, some drama on top of it. Yep. And now he got a classic. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause see, Mick Mac Indians made this. I want to say he wrote They Live and they were I think it's uh they return or something. He wrote a lot of stuff that I know it's based off America. Children of the corn. It was a it was something out there in the middle of the cornfield that had the children going crazy or something, right? I'm trying to think. I don't watch some. It's been so long. I watched it a long time. I got to go back. Yeah. There. But it was some type of mound shit in the cornfield. Mm hmm. Everything that man it was liked, always around some corn. I mean, he did a lot of stuff dealing with that corn in the oh, middle of the fields with a crop, like a. They'll say that the the aliens did it when, when we all know who did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that that's him. See, like I say, I studied Stephen King. Stephen King, um, he went to all the ancient spots and learned about what was going on on the land in America. And he mm -hmm. wrote his stories off every everywhere he write a story it is a real indigenous spot there. Mm. Everyone. He wasn't lying about um about Pitt Cemetery in Maine. You, it, it was based in Maine. Mm -hmm. The Micmac Indians from Maine. The, 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 okay. Um, the um, the mounds. He, the mound he did the movie on top of it was in Maine. Oh, okay. Like he put like this shit. He, he literally put it right there in your face. Like he don't be playing. He really do it. Like let me see if I found a receipt. Um, Snow K. I got to shrink it. But let me see. This stuff really was in Maine. They want people to think we were just at west, uh, east of the Mississippi, that we wasn't west of the Mississippi. We was all over this whole land mass. Yeah, we was all over the whole land From mass. top to bottom. That's a fact. All the way to South America. All the way up. Yes. All the way up. Like this is really this, this mound is really in Maine, people. That's how it looked today, but this is how it was looking when he done the movie. This really in Maine, Micmac Indians from Maine. Oh, they went back and destroyed it. Oh yeah, the whole grave. It's in a it's in a real graveyard. It's hot. The whole graveyard yeah. shit back. 
Now, in your uh, video you played about Nashville, they were saying that Tennessee was a more of a burial. They're not like, I remember when, on like where we live at, because I live, like I said, I live right near both of them. Uh, up here is Centennial Park, which is where you showed the, um, the um, what you call it? The, um, the Parthenon. Memorial. The Parthenon. That's less than two minutes away from me. The, the down yes. and the other one this is less than two three minutes away from me as well because i'm right in the directly in the middle now my mama told me when we was children that when where we lived there growing up that that was once a burial site it was they had mounds out there too yeah big mounds i'm talking about three big mounds and i actually still live here today they just tore it all down and rebuilt it so my mama uh she said yeah this used to be a burial ground that they uh dug up yep this is the parking yep. lot she's talking about yeah, right there. when i tell you them people be up there every day all around that thing i mean and you know it ain't nothing but you know who it is but i ain't gotta call no names i gotta we'll be up there snapping this. pictures just snapping 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 that's all <laughs> i gotta find that old um map i mean an old um the pyramid used to be beside or the, or the mounds out there the three stars of the tennessee the tennessee three stars are really showing you three mounds that it's in the in that in that spot wow you know what it's the it's the back, um, in, it's the, back um, in 95 was it 95 i think the name of the star well back in i can't think i think it was about 95 or 97. a yeah. tornado came through here right mm -hmm and it came down i was working downtown when it came through it tore up downtown and it ripped the stars out of our uh those three stars it yes. ripped that whole middle out of the flag the only thing was standing y'all was the flag the the rest of but the three stars was gone got snatched out of that yeah got <laughs> that was like now how the hell did that happen uh, somebody <laughs> said Somebody said they got a question for Cobb before I, um, I put some more bad there. Mr. Sillister, what kind of question you got for Cobb? Let me see if you, um, I know she your answer for your head. And then he called me a more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this dude right here, where you at? Y'all know I don't argue with people about whatever they call themselves. I know what my yeah, grandmother yeah, told me. Yeah. That's what I do. I don't argue with nobody about what we, we, ain't here to, we ain't here to teach them. Yeah, we mm -hmm. got to teach you exactly right. We're not here to teach them. We do it sometime on the strength, but yeah. we're not here to teach these people nothing. I tell people I'm not going to argue with you. If that's your title, that's your title. I'm from the, the house of walkers, powers. I mean, I can go on from the house that I'm from. So a lot of people don't, like we, we talk, talked earlier, your last name and your fam on your family tree they more important than anything and you need to know the name that you come from that's the house that you come from I they need your attention <laughs> oh my god we know the truth no i got a question for both of y'all y'all talking about tennessee hey uh -huh. Carver. hey um, <laughs> you know me i'm always digging in the uh, 1800s yeah. So mm -hmm. he was talking about Tennessee, so I figured he'd know more about it because he, you know, breaking down Nashville. So there were temples, Egyptian temples found in Tennessee in 1828. Do you know about that? I got pictures of <laughs> my man. Oh shit! I came to the right they, place. They, it's, it's one in the, in the graveyard. It's one in the graveyard. Please, please break that down for me. I had a young man that said the house of the the Walkers um a young lady and i what she said today and what i know about the walkers we was the record keepers we kept the knowledge we was the one that held the knowledge of who we were and and walker only means we walked every inch of america i mean this land we walked every inch of this we I'm are sorry. the original people of america exactly and, and those like temple and it, and it talks about certain bloodlines with a record keeper you're exactly right yeah uh, hold on uh, hold on real quick now you know i'm curious about the 1828 thing so that's those temples that they was talking about this is one of the pyramids that have been there since it was there since the 1800s i know for sure they made it some type of grave site put a door on it and all yeah. that mm -hmm. it was so this it, is it been there 
well over some thousands. Yeah, it's been there. So, so this is the, the what I've been re what I've read about that 19, 1828 that they found. Um, and when they asked them about what happened to them, they said that uh, they unalived them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they made it from the made them all the tribes after us. Not, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about them. Yeah. They unalived yeah. our people, bro. Mm-hmm. They were the only people able to get over here during that time frame and do anything to the mound bill. Because, because when the guy was telling uh, the, the, the 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 legend of it. He said the natives. That's what he said. He said they asked the natives what happened to them when they got there. He said they came out at night, and we un the natives said we unalived. They came out at night to say something to us. This is how the legend. This is how I read it. And they said they unalived all of them. The natives killed our ancestors first, and then the colonizers came and tried to kill the rest of. Them. But we still survived. But this stuff been going on. Since BC times, they've been raiding us, bro. Well, well, see, my problem is, is I think they telling the history wrong. You know, that's that's my problem. Who, who telling the history wrong? They are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they don't want to teach us this. They just say it's just a, a, a forgotten race that race disappeared. Ain't nobody just disappeared off the face of the. Well, race. I think it's a collapsed civilization. No, that's what I, I think, think it is. I think somebody was fucking with them people. They moved around. That, that's all thing makes sense. Ain't nobody just dying off. And they got all these crops out here in the field. Mm -hmm. It don't make sense. Somebody was messing with these tribes, bro. They got walls up around See, them. That that's what loses me the tribe thing because you're showing me a civilization, so people couldn't be tribal. They could be a people, but when you say the we word was tribe, nations, just, we yeah, was nations, nations. right? I'm talking I, about they were they were tribes. They they uh -huh. the Mongols got tribes. Um, Mongols got tribes too, but don't get the names. See, we, we so caught up in the names, bro. Yeah. Me and Copper were chilling on our mound, and here comes some Mongols fucking with us because we got corn and we got food. See, yeah. They want to unalive us. We are not out here trying to kill a rabbit running through the snow. We already got mm -hmm. corn stored up and food and irrigation and heat and, and structures. They are living in the woods, bro. Yeah, yep. civilization. I they see that. Your warm bed in this complex. This is yeah. survival. This is ancient times. This is this is ancient times, bro. A, a, mm -hmm. a fire in a, a fire in shelter is worth more than gold. Back I then. mean, right. even they TP ain't matching up with history, y'all. They P yeah, TP is not matching up with history. How you got all these these structures everywhere? Like we said, you got the. Uh, Stuff for it. You got big tall skyscrapers, all these castles everywhere, and y'all out there in TPs, and y'all supposed to be the people of the land. Exactly. Them people are jealous. Them people trying to unalive you and take your spot, bro. Yes. Yeah, I That's kind of figured that. To the ancestors I figured that. You think these intellectual people who who align stuff with stars just fell off and died? Exactly. That don't happen, bro. These people are too smart for that. Somebody put their hands on these people. Even the ones that wasn't the richest of the rich, they still had long houses. Look, look research long houses. I long mean, houses. man, That's we still had had, had some around here in Nashville. A tornado could come through our neighborhood, and those who lived in the long houses, they wasn't worried. Iroquois had look beautiful. Yeah, houses. I saw. I, mean, I, was, I was in um up there by Niagara Falls and saw some ancient um, long houses. They was beautiful. I'm talking about mm -hmm. stone built from the bottom. They call them shotgun houses. Shotgun because house. you can like, yeah, gotta, you come to that front of... door and go straight out there. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> through the front door, the bullets yeah. go out there. No, 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 about that, Copper. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me show you something, Mr. Sinister. This is a map of Nashville, the old paint of Nashville. Yep. Right? That's actually on the wall of the Capitol, y'all. Yep, that's the. Place. I seen that when I was a little bitty girl. Yeah. Go I ahead. Was told, I was told that that was a memorial painted by an artist. That's what I was told about that Nashville uh, portrait that's in the Capitol. That's the Don't bleed them people. Like that's been now, now, now look at this right here. See, this is the shit you got to zoom in on and pay attention to. This this map from like the eighteen the late the late eighteen hundreds. Oh, there go that eighteen hundreds again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see, this ain't you know this. They just this ain't old enough. But you know, we'll use it for them. 
Look, if anybody, I mean, we know it's older than the 1800s, but we gonna let them ask. Right. Yeah. What is that? What is that right there, Mister Simmons? You see that? On the ground, it ain't there. It ain't there today. But it right. Was there it ain't. That's a falcon, bro. Falcon. Those are found in Georgia, um, Mississippi, Poverty Point, Hopewell, Cahokia. Ah, uh, so that's. Ah, uh, so that's Haru, what. That is a rule ideology right there. The falcon, the bird. Mm -hmm. but, but it's the falcon, meaning so, the serious star, right? Mm-hmm. This on the ground in Nashville in the 1800s. This was the original layouts, but this stuff was already here a long time ago. It just, yeah. it just, it just built. You know, it just. Act like yeah, I tell you a story. Hold on, I got a question for both of y'all. Now, one more, I got one more thing to show you before you start. Let me show you one more thing. Then I'm, I'm gonna let you ask the question. One more thing. Now, on that same picture, the pyramid is on there too, bro. Look at this right here. There you go, right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. so I, I, like I said, I've seen all of this when I was younger. I just didn't pay attention to it. But yeah. My I'm question dead. to both of y'all is why would they, why would they, if the people who built all of this ain't here, why would they destroy all of it? They don't. See, I, that's what I don't understand. Why destroy this, something? This is awesome? why they destroyed it. You have to understand your memory is in your DNA. I know that part. They can't let you see what was because you're going to start remembering. So in order to say memory loss, that means there had to be something that happened to us for us to forget. I mean, a lot of us start forgetting. A lot of our ancestors, our grandmothers, them they remember because they didn't do ultrasounds. Y'all don't understand. You 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 come out of water. Which water? Water carries memory. We start we start doing ultrasounds and stuff that that was really in place to wipe our memory out. So if you're if they wiping if they doing it to the water that you in that you in for nine months, they're clearing your memory. Every time you come back, you're supposed to remember every life. That you had when you came back here. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's why we now, have now, that group. Now, Mr. Sinister. Okay. I you tell you, is, don't you? We've been getting attacked, bro, for so long. We were building monuments like this stuff and moving. Building, moving. Hold on. Mm -hmm. building, you know who this moving. is. But at one point in time, they killed it. So many ancestors were lost, and you moving so much, and colon colonization start. They disconnect you from your ancestors, and disconnect you from your language, and disconnect you. Now you just on the run. Yep. You don't know. You, you ain't even. You know. Time goes by. They 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 put you in schools and new languages and different history. They disconnected you from this from this knowledge, bro. Facts. It, it took hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years to do it. That's why it's hard for us to even find out who our great great grandma is. Yeah, true. Um, you do know who you're talking to, right? This you know I know who it's you Prince is. Dredd. No, I don't know who I'm talking This is about. Prince Dredd. Who? He being your chat, Prince Dredd. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Dark side of the forest, man. I've been listening to you. I've been chatting. But it's um, you know, we got this okay. It's cool. stuff, man. We got disconnected from this. Yeah, I, I didn't want you to go into a real deep. That's why I just came up to answer you. I figured you might know that I was familiar when I said Carper, because you can't see her whole name. But yeah, I was. It, it makes sense that they uh covered it up. But to me, it, it I find it puzzling that they came over here and they took over and then they started burning everything down in the listen country. listen listen i i mean well, you listen. had the conversation they didn't take over until the 1900s i Don't know that great migration uh, uh people think that the takeover was in 1492 that's a lot uh, uh, no the, i agree the great with you. takeover started with world war one and two yes i agree they with you to, okay but a lot of people don't know that a lot of people in the chat think that they've been here doing this no they didn't 
when they started those two wars right there, it was to get our uh, uncles and granddaddies and their cousins, all them off the land because they couldn't get to the land like they wanted to. So they had to remove our people first. And then when they go somewhere else, they say, oh, they, they was unalive through, uh, you know, war, yep. but when it was really friendly fire. Yep. Uh, Coffee, I'm missing something. They went through a really big, pro really a lot of trouble to remove all those bells, too. And, yeah, and, uh, we, we know that. War. But I'm telling you how they, uh, a lot of those people just got here. If you look at, I, look, I played that video again just yesterday. The Great Migration uh, through Ellis, Ellis Allen Great Migration, uh, 1890 to 1920. Really, you cut out the 1920 because they still migrate. They ain't never stopped migrating. They've been coming in here doing stuff to us this whole time. Every time they go off and start a war, they are back doors with the people from wherever they're going at. They're bringing them here. Yeah. And, and those are their silent warriors that they're bringing here. You think that they're going to save from whatever's going on on their land, when actually in reality, they're bringing here, them here to, to harm you. Is that That's how, mm -hmm. Well, people don't understand. When, when uh, we went to fight Germany, they came through They came through Ellen, Angel Island on us with them. Yep. While they were sitting there sending our people out, they was coming back through Angel, Angel Island. They only talk about Ellis Island, but they never talk about Angel Island. Exactly. Yeah, it is true. They don't mention Angel Island. Let me explain something too, bro. Hush, hush. Mongols had already took over some of these ancient mound complexes and areas before colonizers got here, bro. A lot of these. Oh man, they muted you. They show show straight muted him when he said that. He must got a call. Y'all got a got a call. My bad. Okay. But a lot of these areas with ancient mounds was already bare when these people got here. That's why they say it wasn't nobody there. What it happened to them? Why these building here ain't nobody there? That stuff. The war had already went on against these other people before they even pulled up. And then we were in, uh, we were still in spots like Cahokia. We were still in spots like um down in um, Moundville, Alabama. We were still in those type of spots in the Southeast. And that's when the Spaniards came in and hit them spots. Mm -hmm. Now we got dry spots everywhere. And they were you know, disappeared. You, you remember years, you said when they said, why these, these people's here, ain't nobody here, right? They give you stuff through uh, children rhymes. The Three Little Bears is that story. When Goldilocks showed up with nobody at home, so what did she do? She got comfortable and started laying in their beds, and, and they, 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 they did this. I tell people, this is the <laughs> longest sleepover I ever seen in history. How do you come to spend a night but never go home? <laughs> they didn't want to go home. Exactly. It was too lovely over here. They weren't trying to go home. They weren't trying to go home because, see, they knew all the greatness that was here in America. If you look at the beginning of that movie uh, that I showed yesterday, well, that documentary, they ain't a movie, it's a documentary of yeah. them coming here. When they start seeing those skyscrapers, they thought they was in heaven. Exactly. Now, how is it you thought you was in heaven? I thought y'all came from this greatness. Because remember, how can you build something that you ain't never seen before. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> what I said, what up? You got a question for us? Hey, hey. I do. Hey, uh, <laughs> yo, I love you so much. <laughs> you stay with the receipts and um, I just love how you articulate yourself. Um, I really have a question about sort of like the chronology of things. Um, I, w I wonder like, Okay, so I'm aware that, you know, uh, DeSoto, I'm aware of all these other um, people that came in to sort of uh, conquer um, the U.S., but they wrote about people who don't look like us who are still here. Yeah. When did they get here and how did they get here? You're talking about the people... Um... 
around what type of time frame? Like around like ancient time frame or like colonizer time frame? Um, I guess we'll have to say ancient because it seemed like they've been here um, okay. for a long time. But I guess the Mongols, like when did they get here? Not the Native Americans, but the other ones. Yeah, that, those are the Native Americans. The Mongols are the Native Americans. Thanks. So what you got to understand is Mongols, Huns, Asians, Chinese type of people, mm -hmm. all of these are invaders coming from East Asia. They was coming from the Bering Strait on boats, any kind of way they can get here, right? They get here, mound builders are already on the land. Right. And 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 they they went to war, they was warring against these people. So in ancient times, that's how you see they, they've been here a while. You know what I'm saying? They've been here a while, but they weren't here before us. So, but they give them all the credit for being the only people on the land mass. But they are so not, did they all come all at the same time, the or same was time. there different, different time periods? Different migrations. Some came in small packs in BC times, and some came in the um, army type, like Genghis Khan type time around 1200, 1100 AD. Okay, yeah, I'm aware about, I'm aware of Genghis Khan. Um, yeah. He came to South America, right? He came to South America. They say he came to um, um, Bering Strait area too, because he, he wanted to broke through the Great Wall of China and came this right, way. Right. So around 1200, 1100 is when a Mongol invasion came over here and, and we went to war. Aztecs fought against Mongols. It's, it's proven with artifacts on the wall. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I, I looked at the codexes. Yeah, so it was a lot of different migrations of them coming over here. Okay. Um, so it's not really a time period per se. It's... The last time they really just came over here is when Genghis Khan came through in the 1200s. And there was a, there was a large amount of those people came over here in the 1200s a large amount it was not it was a okay amount in prehistoric times because they kind of live along with us in prehistoric times but we fought wars against them in the 1200s so i'm gonna say the 1200s is when a lot of them got here their ancestors got here around 800 years ago Let me see who else we got. Game over. What's up? I'm gonna do two more. I'm gonna get skeet the geek, and I'm gonna get the other other person. Yeah, I just had a real so you know because I, I I follow you too, man. But this is what I wanted to ask you. So with all of this ancient technology that we had and all this great civilization, yeah, we had to have we to, if we had if we were, if we were that intelligent, we had to have weaponry too. You know what I mean? Because if we got, you know, I'm just thinking that how, how we didn't have that or we didn't have military or anything like that when, when we were being invaded. Okay. Like I said, we got invaded in, we got invaded in ancient times. These people are barbarians, bro. We were intellectuals. You ever saw two brothers, one, 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 one a street, one a street? A street nigga and the other one a book smart dude. Right, right, right. <laughs> right the street right. dude know how to hang in the street, and the book smart one got to stay. You know, we were not violent people. We were humble nature, um, star watchers. Um, we did try to protect our village with walls and we had knives and swords and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. these barbarians are. Into intellect go out to wonder when bullets start flying, bro. <laughs> so yeah. you could be Einstein. If the bullets going off, you better get low. But yeah, it, we I, weren't building stuff for 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 like weaponry. We had like basic weaponry, but these people were coming in droves of twenty and thirty thousand people hitting one mound complex at a time. We wasn't if we were no town. To live that deep, we was living in our areas four or five hundred, six or seven hundred. These people were popping up thirty and forty thousand Mongols, bro, swinging 
swinging clubs and knives and I got receipts have on you, it. Have you ever heard of the Tomoka con I think it's some people I for now uh I wanna say some will say the Timokuins, but the Tomoka con they show you on the walls that we had every technology it was. All technology came from America. All technology. He trying to say something like weaponry technology. Yeah, see, I'm just I think we had the, I think we had the fat shade. We had um stuff to fight. We definitely had it, but it was only used. Uh, you know, it wasn't wasn't used like they're doing today with all this war against us. These are warring people. Yeah, Never I, I, the, only about thing, these people. The, the only thing I can think of, because I'm saying we we, we we too intelligent not to have it. You know, not to have it, but I just think that it must have been a period where we had, never, we, had, we had never we had never encountered we had never encountered it or something. That's what I'm thinking. You gotta understand, bro. These ancient times when these people first started coming over here. Mm -hmm. It's only so it's yeah, ain't no guns created in, when Mongols first got here, started coming over here in BC times. Wasn't no guns, wasn't no gunpowder, wasn't no it's hand on hand combat, right? Right. Mm -hmm. If they come deep. These Mongols are coming like roaches, bro. They right. come in 20,000 people rushing a 500 people mound count. They will win. The numbers gonna let them win. They are, mm -hmm. you know, they are, they were, they were, I ain't gonna lie. They were strategic in taking over mound complexes because they rushed them with a whole lot of people. Right. And we gotta right. understand it. We gotta understand it. Like we didn't have like no 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 chopper or no laser <laughs> yeah yeah I, I just thought i was just saying like i said we probably was not used to that you know what i'm saying somebody like especially like somebody coming through and just trying to take over well more so we was about sharing sharing with you breaking bread with you yeah that's what we was on that's yeah. what was on yeah and then in those times in ancient times it wasn't no warfare over here like this so we weren't bred to be warfare. Mongols were bred for warfare because Europe is the biggest place for warfare on the face of the earth, bro. Mm. They come from war. You see what I'm saying? Right. Genghis right. Khan is the most bloodthirsty warlord you can ever see in your life. They say that man killed over 400,000 people, bro. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did say when the we, age we talking started. About, we talking about Hebrews, bro. We talking about God's people. We not talking about no savages. Right, I got you. I got you. You know, these people were, you know, you know <laughs> we weren't Yeah, I got you. They was on I, it. We weren't on it. Yeah. And then you probably thinking about you ain't you ain't dealing with somebody you can't trust because the world that's not the world we living in. You thinking about a person keeping it, yeah, like you ain't you ain't used to somebody not keeping their word, or you gotta keep your eye on somebody because they on they on that they on that bullshit. You know, it was all it was all family around in those times, bro. It yeah. wasn't no enemies around. Yeah, in, in your yeah. mound complex is all bloodlines, it's all family. And, and the crazy and part. You know, and and you know they they always talk about how Christopher Columbus was talking about how naive we were when he first came amongst us. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Because he was on devil time. We never experienced that type of warfare against our people, bro. Right, right. True yeah. enough, we fought, true enough, Mongols took over some of the spots in America before the, the colonizers got here. But some of these spots in the southeast was never raided before colonizers got here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I want to know because I know like all that stuff out there in Colorado, Nevada, like out you know where where all of them are now, like in Arizona, like all of that's ancient, ancient, uh, ancient uh, American stuff too, where we was uh, located. Yeah. I want to know what what happened to that part over there. You know how we when that we was over west, Mongols. Hmm? Yeah, they they came through and did it's a job over there. You know. You know how I know the Mongols are still, or uh, 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 the reason all this stuff is better today? Because when the colonizers got there, Mongols were living in there. Right. Mongols, Mongols were living in Chaco Canyon. They were, was, they were living in the cliff, in the cliff, in the cliff well. Go ahead. Go in, there eating out, in there eating out on the live relative ancestors and stuff. Yeah, they eat all the These corn. People, they no yes. more, they eat you. 
Yeah. 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 You, you know, you know, I know. And and these people really believe if they consume you, they can be you. That's, That's the these people mentality. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is something they and uh you know, it was a, it was a thing like that I read about. That's how they, uh, you know, they was they was trying to figure out how they could get themselves back to the to the original look of like you know the original man. So they was trying at all types of stuff like that. Eat mm -hmm. you, you know, mate with something, thinking that it, that's gonna make them original again. But mm -mm. yeah, I ain't, I ain't think about the Mongols being the first ones that we was. That, that's who really came over here and did all that. Bleaching. Um, they started bleaching. The, them over there because they used to wear powder on their faces because they say they represent royalty in asia they've always believed in all they putting it go back and look at some of them all oh, those movies of uh, them they had powder all over their face but they their hands and stuff was dark i mean yeah, all hey, that stuff they spread it that worldwide hey hey we know the truth i got one more thing yep. did you ever catch up with the dude Remember, it was a white dude that came up here about a week a week or so ago that was talking about all the mounds up there in Delaware, in New York. White dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah did you ever, uh, did you ever catch up with him? Boy What's his name? Yeah, yeah. Chris? Yeah, Chris. Yeah. Chris, sent, yeah. Chris sent me receipts every day. He sent me videos every day. Bro. Yeah, bro. I, 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 yeah, yeah. He, he was dropping some jewels on that joint, boy. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. We, don't, we, don't, we don't even know how many mounds and pyramids is up here because I'm in, I'm in Maryland. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like we are, oh man, like now, but see, at first you don't know what you're looking at. So now, yeah. you know, I'm like, like, I'm right outside of DC. Now I'm finding out that DC really is ancient. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's much older than what, you know, um, what they tell us in school. And then it's mounds and pyramids all through Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia. All, all the Chesapeake, all the international park built on some ancient uh, mound. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. And right when you go, cemetery. yep, you're right. And they got a, a you know pyramid Washington, in the ancient. Yeah, and Virginia got all the history. Virginia, like right across the bridge, yeah. right across the bridge, right across the Potomac River. You know, when know they were talking about the gold rush, they wasn't just talking about digging it up out of the. Um, you know, finding they were talking about going in our ancestors' tomb for this stuff. Yeah, I, I, people, honestly, I mean, they raided America. A cop, cop, I honestly think that's what that gold rush was about when they were talking about them forty nine was going out. Uh -huh. They wasn't going out there digging up, mining out the out the mountains. They was going to get our old stuff. Yep. You know what people don't understand about the gold rush? The mound builders had already went into the areas where the gold and the silver and the copper woods. Mm -hmm. The quarry, they call them quarries now. They try to give them a whole nother name like they can't, like they found it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They found quarries that mound builders had already dug out and showed them where the, where the gold and the copper and everything was. And they went right in there and kept drilling in them same spots and hit the jackpot. Mm -hmm. They had already led you to where the, the minerals was. Yep. They were right. ancient miners. Yeah, because they wouldn't know that. These they wouldn't know YT that. People, these day YT people get to talking about some. They ain't nothing but a quarry. No, motherfucker. They ain't nothing but a spot. I'm going to get ready to drop. It's a fire bill. I'm going to get ready to drop me because I don't want to change your, uh, what you call it. It's a fire bill. Thank y'all so much. Peace, All love, right. and light to everybody. Y'all follow Copper Empress. All right. Peace and love, y'all. Yeah, man, I'd be uh, yeah, I, I, I would want to ask you that, man, because you be having all these different receipts, and I don't ever get a chance to come up, but I just wanted to come and chat with you for a minute, bro, because yeah, man, I, like you be having that, you be having the real. I it's funny because I know you don't really be on here when everybody be going at it, yeah. but a lot of stuff that you got, you'll just shut down everybody because you know. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm talking, about, I'm talking about when you be showing the bird man how that ain't nothing new. That ain't nothing new, bro. Hey, bro, like this man, and these people be thinking we crazy. Yeah, talking about like, this crazy. Egypt, Egypt man. Here I said, well, it, okay, if you don't want to call it Egypt, it's still the same technology. So exactly. what, what? What is it then? If you if you if you want that to be Egypt over there, then fine. But why is it over here? And what I don't. Yeah. And what I don't get is. 
why is it that we so why are we not studying what's going on in our own backyard exactly why are we looking at somewhere else dog why are exactly. we looking over here dog we got stuff right in our in our own land exactly see and this is what got me one time bro i'm gonna tell you, i'm gonna tell you when that when that when that bird man stuff hit me about five six years ago i'm reading about egypt and instead of talking about the falcon fire altar mm -hmm. and i'm like i didn't seen a falcon fire altar in america somewhere but i couldn't figure out where it was it right mm -hmm. and i and i started going back through my mound work because i'll be going through the mound mm -hmm. and then i hit i fuck around and hit um <laughs> um macon georgia mm. the Ak the Akmogi mound and, and and I had a receipt of the the Egyptian um fire pit with the falcon, and then I I run across the the fire pit with the falcon looked just like it in Georgia, and I'm mm. sitting there like you know like 2016 or somewhere up in there, right. I'm sitting there looking at the material like, bro, the bird man in America they told us that was Native American is the same ideology the Egyptians are yeah. talking. About. Yeah, yeah. So I went to researching mm -hmm. all the bird, man. Right? Mm hmm Series star, series star. Native American, ancient Native American series star. And now, and it's a falcon the whole time. Yeah. Then I hit then it hit me again. The falcon from America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, see, and you know what's funny? I, I study birds of prey. So yeah. growing up, I could I could spot an eagle nest, the real eagle, not no bald eagle. Uh, you know, a falcon, and like my, my father used to teach me that. So I always grew up being able to spot a bird. So I always was like, but if, you see falcons in Virginia and in Maryland all day. All like, day, bro. That's, you know, I live by the Potomac River. So, you know, that's where they hunt. Bro, I watch, so, I live in, I live in uh, Marietta, Georgia, right? I'm mm -hmm. looking out my window in my apartment. I'm looking at a falcon just tearing up, or, or, or I don't know what it was. Or, <laughs> He just out there eating right outside my window, bro. Falcon. Yeah, yeah every day though. Yeah, he looked and they... just like Horace. He looked just like Horace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He ain't got nothing to do with Africa. He from right here in, in America, bro. Don't. And then, then I'm realizing that the jaguars really over here. The jaguar here. The black panther ain't nothing but a black jaguar. Ain't no such thing as a black panther. That's right. a black jaguar. Yeah. So okay. all, all of this, but I'm just trying to figure out. I guess they going out their way to make sure that they hide all of this. Oh yeah, but man. Dude, to realize it was really I think what's really messing me up is that to know that this place was was had cities. Like when I found out Chicago was much older than what they say it is. Oh yeah. They oh, yeah. they have us all under the impression that oh, yeah. we are that we built these cities through slavery when in fact all of this stuff like I don't found cities that over here that's thirty thousand years old. Oh yeah, thirty to sixty thousand years old. Pittsburgh, one of them. Pittsburgh, a man built a whole man. company on top of Pittsburgh, bro. Man, I told my homie that, and he—I mean, I told him he was like, "Yeah, you only—you have no idea the history of Pittsburgh." He—he he lived bro. out here in D.C. Look at this, bro. This is a new, this is a Nubian statue, bro. That's a jaguar face, bro. Yeah, yeah. What is it? That's not found in Africa. This is the plume jaguar. That's what that means. That's the plume sign. Mm. So we got to start. See, I don't even go in deeper to the receipts until somebody try to play with me. See what I'm saying? But, yeah, but see, that, that's why you need to. Like, I, I'm can see, can see, everybody loves to run receipts, but they don't be having the receipts like this, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> but he's doing stuff from over here, bro. Hey, oh, I know. No, listen, y'all, you, you don't even know. I be, I be. You talk to now, and uh, they man, I be tapped in. They don't want to know this, bro. <laughs> yeah, I be, I be saying like you be having pictures of all. I'm like, how the hell he be having all these goddamn mounds and pictures? Going, bro, I'm going through books, websites. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going through new old newspapers. I don't play, bro. And and you know how to connect the dots, though. See, that's another thing because yeah, you gotta know what you you gotta know what you're looking for, though. See, that's the thing. A lot of yeah. people don't know what they be looking for. It just yeah, but see, like now, I now I can do it. Like now, when I'm outside, I can see. Oh, that's a mound. 
Exactly. All this time, this is a mound. You see a mound? Go see, mm -hmm. if they got a, go see if they got a map of the mound from the sky view. Mm. You get the sky view, you go into the star constellations. Now, they, now you now, now when you see the land one of them star constellations, you already know who built it, bro. Okay. That's how you read the ad. And then right. the ancient Germany saying, that's a mound builder saying, you see that on the building, the building ancient, bro. You see that yeah. window? You see that wheel on the ground? Um, you see something like this? Right. Like Washington, D.C. or on the dirt. You see that agriculture wheel telling you the different time to plant the crop? It's right. old, bro. It's old. <laughs> yeah. no way around. I, I just think about how, I think, what's the name's house is on the mound? I'm sure it is. Uh, Mount Vernon. Matter of oh, fact, because yeah, it's called yeah, Mount yeah. Vernon. That's George. That's where George Washington House supposed to have supposed to be. Martha's Vineyard on top of a big stoop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then it's this Mason's Lodge <laughs> right across the bridge in Virginia. Yeah, yeah. But we don't know what we're looking at. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, we don't know what we now. Know that, though. We know that. Yeah, yeah. As you say, we know the I'm truth. I'm gonna tell you something that bothers me, bro. It's so many sites I do research, and I have to try to dumb it down to three. So I can put the knowledge out about them and then come back and go to the new ones. Cause it's so much stuff on top of our stuff. I don't even know where to start sometimes. I get a headache, bro. Like yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna start in California or New York or Florida. It's just stuff all over the country on top of our ancient spots, bro. Check this out. So I I, I say this from time to time. So I, I be in the school system, right? So I, I teach part-time. Yeah. So I was at this school one day and I seen this map of, of, of America, but it was from Canada all the way down to South America. Mm -hmm. And they got they got hundreds of thousands of tribes, right? But the only thing, this is this is what started me on this journey. So I look at the map, I'm on the phone with my man, I'm like, dog, these so-called, these Native Americans is really Asian, because because it, it it on the map, they'll have a, a face that represents what the tribe looked like. Right. Yeah. So they so they showing like you know the basic Jones, you know Navajo, whoop whoop whoop. So I look over to the, to California and they had up up the representation of the Khalifa people, and these people look like what you would think is you know what you would call a black person or a legal. Bro, this is twenty. <laughs> this is listen, listen. This is twenty twelve. This is in a public school. It, it was in the the school was called uh, Gwen Park. Damn! I, it was a, it was a, it was an empty classroom. I was on break, and I just happened to go in this social studies class, and I had never. That's when I said, "Dog, you mean it was it was black people in America?" That's crazy. I said, "Dog, they they got us." This, this, and, and look, and they ain't had no feathers. I remember this because I got a photographic memory. It wasn't no feathers. They wasn't. If they had gold helmets, and they were called the yeah. Khalifa, the Khalifa yeah. people. They say Khalifa. And that was, they say yeah, the Khalifa. people had yeah, everything they, made out of gold, bro. Everything man, made out of gold. They, 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 had, they had a brother's, they had a brother's face. He had a gold helmet. He looked like he could be but Egyptian or what? There was mostly women though. Mostly women. Well, well, this is this is when I just kind of started on this journey. So I started looking them up, then I found out that California was a, was was developed. They had homes, they had neighborhoods, it was, you know, all of that was built up. And that's where you got the name California from, because that's where they were. And, that, and after that, Queen Khalifa. Yeah, and, and that's when I started this journey on finding out that we was already here. I just started going was, down the rabbit hole. I was reading a book about, I was reading a book about the Khalifians, and you know those um those water canals and floating um gardens and stuff out there in Oregon and California and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of it? You don't. You ever heard of like the no, Venice Canal? No. I mean, not Venice, but the um, what's the canals on um on Venice Beach? Um, the canal. I'm not. Beach. I'm not familiar. I ain't. I ain't no, never. No. Only been to Venice Beach. No, I ain't never heard of this one. But they got canals coming off coming off the beach. They go into the okay. city in L.A. and California. Well, and oh yeah, I, I don't. I ain't never. I ain't never heard of that before. They said they mm -hmm. built all of it, bro. They say the indigenous people before L L.A. was a city, they built all of those water canals running up through the city from the ocean, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They had, had floating rose gardens. 
like rose gardens floating, growing on their own in the water. Mm. Gold, gold everywhere, temples, streets. They say, um, Bro. they say some type of colonizer came through there and and, and unalived a lot of them people. I got, I got to go back and find that that book and uh, bring that back to yeah. life. That, that's the truth about it. Yeah. That's so one, yeah, once I once I found out about that, I was like, if they if they can tell us that one of us was here in one part of the country, that means that all of it was a lot of us here. Oh, yeah, so after that. Here. You know, and I, you know, I always grew up in my family. You know, they was always because my family from Louisiana, they from New Orleans, and my yeah. pops and them is from Virginia. So for real, to this day, I want to go back to my, my grandmother's house, dog, because I promise you, I think this young is sitting on top of a mound. I promise you. Yeah, you gotta go check she it too? out, bro. A lot of that stuff, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. But I, I, I check back in with you, bro. I just wanted to rap to you, man. Oh, no problem, man. Y'all follow the game over, man. Good, good, good question, bro. Good conversation. Yeah, thanks, bro. Peace. No problem, man. Follow the game over. Follow the game over. Follow my people. I got time for one more. Who was up? Skeet, Skeet the Geek. What up? Um, who was first, man? I don't know. Binks, what up? Let me get one question real quick. Hey, what's going on, Peace King? <laughs> Well, thank you for choosing me. I just had a really question. I know you probably ain't got a lot of time, but what I've been doing is between you and the Earth Speaks and, you know, my own personal research, I've been trying to build this timeline, right? And I, I'm listening to you talk about the mound builders. You're showing these artifacts, and I believe uh, you're talking about the Virginia Tobacco Company. I keep following on your uh, YouTube page. You was talking about it recently, and, I, you know, that, that was blowing my mind. So now I'm like, okay, boom. You, you timed it at least back to the 1500s when they were bartering with us and you showed that there were slaves there at that time. There was, you know, the, the slave boy, then you had the other boy chilling, smoking the tobacco, which you were saying were... Uh, yeah. I, think that, I think that was from the, that was from like the 1700s, that, that picture I was showing. Okay. 1500, somewhere up in there. Right. So, all right. So I, I'm, I'm at least clocking. I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, the information you deliver to us to be at least 800 years old. But then I, I, maybe I could be wrong because I was thinking that the mound builders were. No, 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 I'm talking about the mound builders. I'm going before Christ, bro. Yeah, B.C. All right. Right. OK. I, I just I, I teach. I go through different time frames. of. OK. I, I jump sometime, but the mound builders ancient culture. So, wh wh how, wh 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 excuse me, dang, I'm stuttering. What would you date the mound builders? 10,000, 15,000 BC? Uh, okay. We all know the mound builders had a lot to do with corn ag agriculture. Right. The oldest corn agriculture found around mounds is around eight to 10,000 years old. Okay. Yeah. Good. You know, I, I, I grew up uh, Christian Baptist and 